This video is to explain to you your rights under the Mortgage Forbearance CARES Act. As you may approach your Mortgage CARES Act forbearance end date, you probably have questions. And as you look around the internet, there's a tremendous amount of disinformation. Disinformation ends here regarding the COVID Relief Act, the, the, the CARES Act, forbearances, and the CFPB new mortgage servicing rules. I'll give you all your answers. What I want you to know now, right at the start, before anything else, is this. It is exceedingly unlikely that your mortgage servicer is going to be able to make you, no matter what they tell you, going to be able to make you pay the entire amount of your forbearance, forbore payments, the money that you didn't pay when you're under CARES Act forbearance. They're not, almost certainly not, going to be able to make you pay that whole amount immediately in order to keep going on your mortgage. And the reason for that is because the CARES Act is designed to protect you during a pandemic. You being every homeowner who's affected by COVID who needed a break from the mortgage, mortgage payments. And if at the end of this forbearance period, you, when you took the forbearance because you couldn't make the mortgage payments, you're supposed to bring them all current at the end of the act, it would make a mockery of the act. And that's not how COVID, COVID Mortgage Relief Act in the CARES Act is going to be resolved. Now, you're in this forbearance, you've been in a forbearance for a year, maybe for 18 months. The point is, when you're coming out of it, there are multiple options. I'm going to be able to walk you through all of them, what they are, how to protect yourself, and how to save your home. So the CARES Act, everybody knows the name. Everybody who's in forbearance has read something about it, knows something about it. But let's get back to very quick basics. The CARES Act is not the Mortgage Relief Act of 2019, and it's not the new CFPB mortgage rules. The CARES Act is the statute that allowed you, just simply stated, to take a break on your mortgage payments. The CARES Act provided a mechanism by which you, the consumer, or me, the consumer, the homeowner, could take a break on the mortgage payments without going into foreclosure, without going into default, so that we didn't have an entire meltdown of the housing market. There's 2 million people in, in forbearance right now. Now we're all coming out of forbearance. That's where the CARES Act comes in on the second part you may not know about. And it ties into both the Mortgage Relief Act of 2019, which gave servicers an ability to collect money from the governments they didn't go under while they weren't collecting forbearance payments. And it also ties into this new CFPB mortgage servicing rules. That's the key here. The new CFPB mortgage servicing rules limit when banks can file for a foreclosure complaint, which is going to be subject to a different video, but, the, but they also address the ending of the CARES Act. And the new CFPB mortgage servicing rules set forth certain loans or have an extension beyond the one-year CARES Act forbearance to 18 months. I'll explain that in a minute. But to everybody concerned, the new CFPB mortgage servicing rules provide that servicers have to explore modification and loss mitigation options prior to trying to collect by foreclosure. Now, that's a fancy way of saying that the government said to the mortgage servicers, the mortgage servicing industry, you can't take people's houses unless you're going to play ball and be fair. So they have to play ball and they have to be fair, but they might not. And that's why you need someone who knows what they're doing to help you avoid the pushback and the, and the games that the servicing industry is going to play as they're desperately looking out for, for collection of money. Okay? So you have rights. The servicing ind industry is under pressure to take those away from you. The new mortgage servicing rules from the CFPB, coupled with the CARES Act and the CARES Act forbearance, created the situation in which government-backed loans, so VA, FHA, Fannie Mae, Ginnie Mae, um, Freddie Mac, there might be a couple of others, but they're very small players, you are entitled to another six months of forbearance for a total of 18 months for most people in the government-backed loans. So if you're one of those loans and you need more time, you can get it. Not every single person with one of those loans is entitled to the extra six months. And who is and who isn't is too complicated to go through on a basic video such as this. 
But if you're a government-backed loan, you might get another six months. Keep that in mind. Contact your servicer. Contact me. We can walk through your options and they can explain how the things work. But that's the mortgage, that's part of the mortgage servicing rules, the new CFPB mortgage servicing rules. The other mortgage certain CFPB mortgage servicing rules lay out exactly how a mortgage servicer has to reach out to you, a consumer, before they try to collect on the debt by way of foreclosure. They have to try to modify the loan. They have to reach out to you. They have to have a conversation with you. Your rights on a government-backed loan are greater than a non-government-backed loan, but that's the genius of the new CFPB rules, coupled with the CARES Act and the COVID Relief Act of 2019. Any servicer that took money from the federal government, which was basically all of them, has to abide by these, these rules. And the rules say these are the modification programs that you have to follow if you're this type of lender or if you're this type of lender, and you have to try to resolve with the consumer before doing anything else. And you can't sit there and say, hey, pay me immediately right now everything you owe me according to us. That's not how it works. And if the servicers violate those those new CFPB mortgage servicing rules, well, then that's a pretty big deal, and you can sue them for violating your rights. That's how the government expects people to keep the mortgage servicing industry in check. The new mortgage servicing CFPB rules protect you, give you rights, make the banks not only offer you loss mitigation modification programs, but put the banks on notice that they are going to get sued and have to pay damages and attorney's fees if they violate those rules. So you need to watch, you need to understand the basics of the rules. And again, I want to say what I said before. It is extremely unlikely that a mortgage servicer, no matter what they tell you, is going to be able to make you pay the entire amount that you owe during the forbearance period all at once. And if they insist on it, they're probably violating your rights. So I hope this empowers you, gives you some strength to take and take the reins here, take control, and take your house back from the mortgage servicer that's giving you a hard time. Don't get pushed around. Reach out for help. I'm one of the people that can help. There are others, but reach out for help because it's out there. And now that you have some very basic information, you know enough to know bank isn't right when they're telling you something that you don't think is right. Okay? You have rights. CARES Act protects you. New mortgage CFPB mortgage servicing rules protect you. I look forward to hearing from you.